The family of a Montgomery County woman killed in March of 2021 is sharing her story with Fox 5 in our upcoming true crime special, Behind Closed Doors, The Murder of Lauren Charles. Take a look. It's a very calculated thing to come down the stairs while someone's sleeping and go in their room and kill them. Tell me exactly what happened. Uh, I just got in from church and I think my wife is dead. It was personal and uh, repeated blows. It appeared one of the primary objects that he attacked her with was a, a statue of Buddha. I can only imagine what was going through her head because she was alive. He went through great lengths to make sure that there was no blood. Are you sure she's beyond help, sir? Sure. The 911 call was very calm. He set up his alibi right away. He's a psychopathic narcissist to me. <laughs> You didn't have a right to take her life. I think that this haunts you until your last miserable day. There was uh, what we called an army. Honestly, I wish that Meryl had had the death penalty. I miss her so much. Love is not just an emotion, right? It's, it's a, a choice, choice that you make every single day to care for a person and be there for them and be in this with them. She's not breathing. Our Jacqueline Matter takes an in-depth look at the case from the day of the murder to the killer's days in court. She joins us this morning to talk about that. Jacqueline, good morning. Uh, you know, this case really captivated the region uh, in particular because of, and we heard it there, just how horrific the murder was. Tell us a, a little bit about the, that day itself. Yeah, so that day, you know, uh, investigators and the state's attorneys tell us that Lauren Charles was found the morning of March 7th, and she had been brutally murdered, as we heard there. She had been beaten nearly to death with a statue of a Buddha. And then on top of that, investigators believe that you know, the, the man who's charged with killing her, her husband, did not, they, they believe he did not think that he finished the job. So then he went back and stuffed a pillowcase down her throat. And, you know, it was just horrifying to hear the details. Even investigators themselves really just uh, bewildered by what had happened in that home. The 911 call, he acted as if nothing had happened. Uh, even the responders, the first responders who showed up at the house, based on that 911 call, and how calm he was during that call. They had thought that they were responding to something, some sort of medical emergency, like a heart attack. When they walked in that door, they did not realize the severity of how serious this murder was until they smelled bleach and they saw bloody handprints all over the walls. And there was a lot of uh, work put in to, to kind of peel back the layers here and find obviously the killer mm -hmm. motives, uh, th that kind of thing. What to you was the most striking um, about this case? case. So what's the most striking is really the backstory with Lauren here and her husband, Reggie Dunlap. There was uh, a history of domestic violence, but not in the sense that he actually physically abused her. It was financial abuse. It was mm. mental abuse. And it was years in, leading up to that. And, you know, she kept saying, I don't feel like I'm proud of my husband. He makes me feel like I'm not a good wife. Mm. And her friends would say, you know, that's not normal. Uh, and, and she was also the breadwinner here. She was doing everything. He had lost his job, uh, lied to her about that. He was seeing several other women trying to do the same thing to, with them, trying to use them as a meal ticket. Mm. And ultimately, you know, she had found out about those other women. And that was what uh, kind of broke the, broke the, uh, the camel's back here, if you will. Yeah. Was uh, what? You know, her family was, was kind enough to, to speak with us and, and with you uh, for this. I'm sure that was very difficult for them. What's your sense from, 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 uh, from them that they want to be the takeaway from this? Because certainly uh, she lived a, a beautiful life, Lauren did, and, and I'm sure they don't want this to be um, the only thing that people think of when they think of Lauren. Right. And, and you know what? Her family was just 
amazing the outpouring of love from so many and it's not like she had a she had a relatively small uh, core family but she had so many friends that spanned across the country and I tell you you know it's hard sometimes when you're doing these types of stories to get people to come out and talk to you yeah. I had 10 people who immediately wanted to talk to me about Lauren and who she was and how much they loved her and they just want people to realize just who she was and the impact she had on so many and really you know the what we lost as a, as a mankind by losing Warren because she did so much for so many others and so they're hoping that uh, her story uh, especially of domestic violence can be shared yeah. with others and they referred to it as the army the 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 judge had said there in court that they had never seen so many people so many witnesses so many uh, friends and family show up in court for, for a case like this. Oh, it's, uh, it, it's good to see and powerful to see her community uh, making sure that people get to know who Lauren was, Lauren Charles. Jacqueline, thank you so much uh, for doing mm -hmm. this piece. We look forward to seeing it. Uh, a reminder, Behind Closed Doors, The Murder of Lauren Charles airs Friday, tomorrow at 8.30 on Fox 5 Plus. You can also find it anytime on our Fox local app uh, on your smart TV. Jacqueline, thank you.